You too, you know what I'm saying? You got Matt Walsh. That this NFL star may be, may be the only player with common sense, mind you. I don't have my glasses on. It is 12.30, and I'm not going to lie to you. I am procrastinating on my on my little paragraph for, for English right now, too. You know what I'm saying? Hey, your boy, your boy can't write a good paper, you know what I'm saying? But, I'm, hey, I'm over here procrastinating right now. Grinding YouTube, that's what I'm doing, you know what I'm saying? Hey, straight into it, though. Pretty sure you talking. I seen Gronk on there. Bro, Gronk, please say something so you can get canceled, too. So I wanted we to get, Hey, we all get canceled. We get canceled together. I haven't, haven't got a lot of attention. Uh, Post-millennial says, NFL legend Rob Gronkowski recently spoke out against the idea of men playing in women's sports, telling Fox News that there's really no argument one could otherwise make. There's been a push over the last several years by trans activists to force women to accept men who identify as transgender into sporting competitions. Obviously, we know that. Who is this? I said something. Who is this? Who is this? I said something. I ain't gonna lie. This is the only time when I start, when I start snapping on something. What's bro name right here? I said something. I deleted my YouTube video, too, because I ain't gonna lie. I said a lot of, boy, whoo. I made that video on my phone, too, because everybody on Twitter was talking about this man right here. Women over here saying, how much do we have to sacrifice to make niggas like uh, this man right here happy? I ain't gonna lie, boy. Women on there snapping. It's like a Twitter thread, too. Like, a year ago? Um, Gronkowski said in a recent interview on the subject, there's really no thoughts to really share. It's obvious there are men's sports for men. There's women's sports for women. It should just stay like that. It's just as simple as that, man. There's really no argument. There should really be no conversation about it. I don't even know why it's in a... Why it's a debate. I don't even know. People just stupid. How it's been is how it should be. Men play men's sports. Women play women's sports. It's as simple as that. It's really unfair if a man went into a woman's sport and played it. Yep. It just doesn't uh, make much sense to me. I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen, right? I said this before, too. I'm going to say it again. Y'all see how uh, y'all got... We got Embiid, Giannis, LeBron. 6'8", 7-footers, 6'11", footers. You know what I'm saying? Big, brolic men. Right? These niggas, hey, they don't want to ring besides Embiid. They they finna go to the WNBA, right? And score 500 points a game. And I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. They're gonna have that little, the settings on rookie. Three point sliders up, inside scoring up. 99. 99 everything, boy. I'm telling you. And obviously he's right about that. It's good that he's saying it. Mm. But I just think that this, yeah, we talked in the, in the opening about Great uh, Christian, uh, the, mm. the failure of Christian leaders across the country to speak up against the gender ideology madness um, or, or you know, and, and many of them waiting until it's safest, until other people have done the work so that they can swoop in and say, oh, this is good. I'm happy about this. And I don't want to hear about, oh, I've been on a, what's it, on testosterone. I've been on test for this long, so technically I'm a man. Shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear, uh, I've been on, I've been taking my hormone pills so I can, so I can grow titties and that. Shut your ass up, too. I don't... Hey, shut up. Um, and then even pat themselves on the back for it. And I think we see a similar thing happening in athletics with uh, some of these, you know, a few professional athletes or former professional athletes now coming out and saying, yeah, this should be happening. When, it, when, it's, when it's completely... When it's much safer. It's much safer now. Well, number one, because you're not in the league anymore. And Did, I ain't gonna lie. Y'all seen a WWE uh, person that can't uh, trans now? Hold on. Hold on. Y'all, I don't care if y'all see it. Hold on. WWE. Mm. Transition to female. I, I forgot his name. Him! Came out as transgender in 20, uh, 2021. Look at him! Bruh. Look at this. Bruh. Come on, now. What's his name? What's his What's his real name? That ain't his name. That's his, that's his uh fake name, right? I see him and on TikTok. Number two, because um, there were many, there were actually a small number of people who were willing to make this point back when it was unpopular, uh, and now we finally have some people jumping on the bandwagon. For most homeowners, window replacement isn't something they. Oh well, you know what I'm saying that's a good little vid. Hey, Matt Walsbury, you think you slick? You try to cut it. You try to get in there pretty quick. You know what I'm saying? I respect it though. You know what I'm saying? Hey, if y'all like the vid, go ahead, like, comment, dislike. You know what I'm saying? It's a topic that people don't like to discuss, and I don't really care to be honest with you. I just like to talk trash, say the truth. You know what I'm saying? My truth, the only truth. To be honest, I ain't. To, hey, to be honest with you, that is the only truth. I don't want to hear nothing else. All right, but go ahead, like, comment, dislike the vid if you want to. I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? Roll to 
2.8, 2.9K. Come on, all right, yes, sir.